This is Maddie. What's up? Yeah. 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 Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, or simply welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Maddie Michelson. I am an IFBB Bikini Pro, and I am an online lifestyle and functional health coach. I also do contest prep coaching, um, but with a functional twist. So our team really prioritizes the internal and functional health of our athletes, whether you are a lifestyle athlete or whether you're looking to prep. So if you guys are interested in setting up time, the link to book that discovery call is always down below. Start by filling out an app and then I will reach out to you shortly after. Um, with that being said, it's been a minute, YouTube. I have not been on here. Um, my boyfriend, Jeff, was in Europe, 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 and he got back a little over a week ago, I think. Um, we've been dealing with our own bouts of stuff, so I've just really focused on our relationship and just making sure that I am giving the appropriate care and attention to that speak of the devil he just texted me anyways um but good things so yeah we are in therapy right now and I have just been kind of focusing on that along with just some business stuff we have some exciting things going on with team empowered uh last week I had an athlete competing so that has been busy over the next few weeks I'm going to be traveling this weekend in particular, I have one of my own athletes coming in town to visit me. So I'm going to be documenting our whole weekend and the things that we do. She is in a cut right now. She is a lifestyle athlete and one day a competitor. So it'll be cool to just um, show you guys that side of things. And um, it's going to be kind of like an immersive field trip for her. You know, we're going to go grocery shopping. We're going to go to the gym. We're going to go get steps in. We're going to cook from home. We'll do some meals out, but um, I kind of want to show you guys what it looks like to be a little bit more buttoned up on a vacation because it's like a vacation for me too. So join along for the ride. Um, last week, I had put some questions on my Instagram DM. We'll see if I address those in this week's vlog or in next week's because I sometimes need some ideas for content so maybe I'll do like one Q&A video for next week and just kind of make this be her like travel vlog um or I'll do the Q&A this week and I'll post this next we'll see what happens but stay tuned for the journey I can't wait to document this weekend for you guys and hopefully you all are enjoying your cardio session or your dinner or your ride to work or the gym or wherever you're going while you watch this <laughs> all right youtube we are back i just got back from a quick walk and we went to trader joe's we're gonna make burrito bowls tonight with some of the sous vide turkey tenderloins and then i'll show you guys what else we're making tomorrow night the plan is to make spaghetti squash with some meatballs with ground turkey and then we also picked up some breadcrumbs, and then tonight, of course, creamies. So I will be sure to show you what we're cooking up for dinner and how we're making it, but this is a super easy meal that's versatile if you have family members. What I love about bowl style meals is you can do like a Greek bowl or an Italian bowl or even a Mexican style bowl and simply just change up the ingredients that you put in yours depending on what your macros are. So. When Jeff is here, or for example, I'm not cutting, and Stephanie is, she may have more lettuce, I may have more rice. She may have more Greek yogurt, and I may put sour cream on mine. I don't eat sour cream, but you get the gist. Um, you're able to modify these meals when you do bowl style things. Same thing applies with like pizzas. If you've got kids at home, you can make, you know, real pizzas for the kids and then you can do like a Joseph's pita with maybe a little bit of feta cheese or maybe a little bit of fat-free mozzarella and you can add chicken sausage to yours for an added boost of protein. So bowl style meals are, even though pizza isn't really a bowl style meal, 
really great for families. I know a lot of uh, families that we have on our team or, or moms that we have will do like hamburger bowls. You can do the same thing with Greek food. Um, Greek chicken can go on yours and the kids. The kids can get orzo or couscous and then you can do more of like a salad style bowl. You could put olives on yours for healthy fats and they can just get feta cheese. So I will show you what bowls we come up with tonight and then tomorrow, like I said, we are doing spaghetti squash. Okay, so we have all the ingredients out here for our bowls. We've got the chunky guacamole. I like to put good culture cottage cheese, rice, bell pepper, onion, mushrooms, and then the sous vide turkey tenderloin bites. And what we're essentially doing, she's putting in her, <laughs> her food into my fitness pal because um, she has a lot of carbs left. So what she's probably going to do is an extra you know, half serving or so of rice. Um, and then we have creamies tonight too. So she might have a little bit of space for like some fruit inside of her creamy. Yeah. So his and hers. <laughs> I don't really know what the difference is on this. Maybe the plate. Yeah. And I, I did put more bell pepper in mine. Um, and I have some cottage cheese. I don't know if you want some lettuce, but we have this little iceberg lettuce. It's like negative macros, you guys. Not really. If you're tracking macros, you probably should track it. But um, yeah, these are our little burrito bowls. So you can see if you did have like a husband and a wife, <laughs> this is very versatile. It's almost creamy time. Guys, it's creamy time. Oh, <laughs> <you can't laughs> <see it. laughs> it's creamy time. We're gonna it's go. So excited. We're gonna go watch Matthew Hussey. If you're not watching Matthew Hussey, do it. I've got Oreos in mine and she had some extra carbs, but no fat. So she got some honey. So sad. Good morning, YouTube. Happy Hi. Saturday. <laughs> oh, I look like a freaking alfalfa today. We are on our morning walk and we're gonna go down to the pier. When we're done at the pier, obviously it's brekkie time. And then we have some new girls coming on to Team Empowered today. I'm gonna send off those onboardings and take her to the blend because if you're in St. Pete you go to the blend and then we're going to go to the gym and the beach so stay tuned for all the fun things I'll show you guys the next meal which is breakfast Light me up. Don't you stop. phone eats first we've got a little egg omelet here and then three pieces of toast today because it is what day are we what are we training the glutes the glutes in your opinion and it's like green, right? Yeah. Is that it right there? Yeah, that's the fat word right there of what it is. You guys, we just got the blend. So delicious. Love it. She loves it. We got white espresso. I'll be sure to attach a little video. You're nice and I'm not. Of the <laughs> I'll be sure to attach a little video of the white espresso. Now we're gonna go to the gym and train glutes, but of course we had to get espresso before. All right, guys, it is glute day today. So the first thing that we do when we get to the gym, prime your muscles, baby. You, I foam roll, I'll foam roll my hamstring, I'll foam roll my squad, my IT band. If it hurts, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, you'll see here in just a second, I roll over onto my belly. This is like such an interesting position but I get that teardrop portion of your quad and oh, it hurts. But let me tell you how much better my lips are when I have done this mobility work, when I've done this foam rolling, when I've released my muscles and any sort of tension. Um, so yeah, do your calves, do your hamstrings, do your IT band, do your quad. And then you'll see I roll back over onto my booty and I'm gonna get my glute med and glute min. I'm also gonna get the side of my glute. Um, you can kind of sit on it, and when it hurts, that's a trigger point. So you wanna sit there and really get up in there. <laughs> um, like I said, if it hurts, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It does get better in time, but I spend about five, sometimes even 10 minutes at the top of my workouts doing this sort of mobility work. So try it for me this next week and let me know how it goes. Moving into this first movement here, this is a cable RDL. 
I really like these. You'll see that I, I actually overemphasize the movement. I kind of uh, twist into my standing leg there, my left leg. I'll twist that right shoulder in. It really helps me get deep in this movement. The key there though is to stop when you're at about 90 degrees with your back. Let your knee bend. That way it stays very glute focused and then come on up. Next we're moving into a super set here. Um, this is a dual exercise where you're focusing on a squat and then an RDL with a kettlebell. Then we're moving on to a kickback. I really like to do these on a bench like so because I get more range of motion. It's similar but different to doing it on a plate because this completely removes any other body part from the movement and really isolates only the glute with a full range of motion. This is also one of my favorite leg press variations because when your feet are vertical and up above you, once again, it stays glute focused. Next, we're moving on to some prone hamstring curls. This was a doozy, you guys, an absolute doozy. We had some drop sets uh, intertwined into this set of four, uh, and I was absolutely toast. Key here, really keep those hips driving down into the pad so that you're not recruiting anything except your hamstrings. This is a side glute focused leg press. This looks like sissy weight with two plates on each side, 225s. It is not, it is not. I guess I have one plate on each side, even worse. Guys, give it a try. This is solely side glute focused. And then we finish out here with an absolute burner of an exercise. These are plyo hamstring curls with a ball. Okay, YouTube, so we are home from the gym. As you saw, that was a doozy of a workout. And now we are going to the beach. I've packed us some pink lemonade and we're gonna go to Krabby's and get some nice seafood. It's one of my pro tips that like when you are at the beach or somewhere coastal, there's always an opportunity for fresh fish. So take advantage of that and all the protein that you can. And then on the topic of eating out and tracking and not necessarily having the flexibility to cook your own meals, you can kind of talk about how Stephanie went about tracking her food today. So she knew in advance, as soon as we got here, the first thing that we did was we went to the grocery store. So she knew in advance what she was gonna be having. And then today what we did is we're gonna be cooking dinner at home. And then obviously she had breakfast at home. So the only meal out is today's at Krabby's. So we were able to research the menu in advance, look up the menu. She was able to pre-log in a meal that she feels comfortable about having. And then since dinner is gonna be cooked at home and we're gonna be having creamies tonight, she could pre-log in all of that. Um, we're being mindful about snacking at the house. So the only meal out that she's having today on her cut is Krabby's. And even if she didn't really know the menu, one thing that we discussed that she could do is to save an estimate of calories, say four, five, 600, whatever is typical for a meal for her. And then when she goes out, she's gonna select a And then when she's out, she's gonna select a meal that looks similar to the meals that she would eat at home. So in light of that, it's gonna be something like a protein, a carb, a fat, a micronutrient, something with fiber. So I'll show you guys what she orders, but the gist is control what you can control. She could control her breakfast, her snacks, and her dinner that we're cooking at home. This took collaboration between her and I. When you are out and you're staying at someone else's house, sometimes they're always gonna ask what you need to be successful, say what you need, Tell them general food items, egg whites, feta cheese, oatmeal, toast, things like that. Um, keep your meals simple, especially when you're eating out and you're gonna be better off for it. 
it's more difficult. It's more difficult to be proactive and to pre-log in advance, but you could do it just like she did, where she left a little bit of room for this meal at Krabby's, and she's gonna hit her macros perfectly today. Did they give utensils in it? Okay, YouTube, so we just made little, let me show you, spaghetti squash bowls. So um, this is another really fun meal that I like when um, you've got people over because once again, you can cook things. I just added some parsley, some fresh fat, flat leaf parsley to the ground turkey. Um, everybody can adjust their amounts for protein. I added some spinach um, for some extra iron. We've got fresh cherry tomatoes, some sauteed mushrooms and onions. Um, I think I have like 100 grams. She's got 60 grams. Remember, there's carbs in your veggies. And then spaghetti squash is a low-carb alternative to spaghetti. I just cook it with a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan on 375. You just cut it in half, cut some slices in the spaghetti squash and cook it for like 15 to 20 minutes. And then for some extra protein, I'll add some feta cheese to this. And then this is one of my favorite marinara sauces. So I'll put this on there. The ingredients on here are really clean and really good. Um, but yeah, super macro friendly meal. And then everybody can just adjust based on their targets and their goals. And I also cook this just in seasonings, like Italian seasoning, no sodium. That way we can adjust for salt. Okay, and before I show you guys our dessert, um, a little added tip is if you've got kids at home and you need some more protein in your diet, I did put feta cheese on this, which adds about six or seven grams of lean protein. But cottage cheese so you can actually blend red sauce cottage cheese and spinach to sneak some greens in there and it's a great added boost of protein if you guys have seen in my other videos i put cottage cheese on toast a lot of times people have a problem with the texture of cottage cheese but if you blend it it's not blended here but if you do it's a great way to get some added protein all right youtube so we are finishing out the night with creamies i just made steph this it's a uh, creamy with nutter butters in it you gotta leave room for fun and then i made myself a creamy right here with a little aloha bar um usually when you go out to eat the one macro that you're typically going to be deficient in especially if you're out throughout the day is protein so Protein bars are a great mix in for creamies just to get that little added boost of protein on top of the protein powder. So yeah, that's uh, what we're finishing off the night with. And tomorrow morning we just talked about um, kind of our plan for the day. So we're probably gonna get up in the morning and go for a walk. Uh, Stephanie is in school um, for her own NTP program. So she's also big on circadian rhythm and circadian health so we'll get up in the morning go for a walk i think we're going to go to a coffee shop and then because she's cutting she's going to grab probably something at the airport um and so because she's eating out then we're going to prioritize cooking another meal at home in the morning so i'll be sure to film that and show you guys what we have hi youtube good morning happy sunday so today unfortunately is miss stephanie's last day She's coming back and she's going to move to St. Pete. <laughs> um, but Miss Batty is not hungry yet. It's funny how when females regain their cycle, much like someone who goes through like chemotherapy and loses hair, every single time it comes back, you come back, it comes back with different symptoms. So typically my hormonal symptoms are I get um, the urgency to clean and I also feel um, very indecisive. Seems like this time I just don't have an appetite. I also have not used the restroom to go number two in two days, so it could be that too. But um, I, she's going to the airport today, so we knew that we had to kind of front load her macros, knowing that she's gonna have an extended period where she doesn't eat. So if you are traveling, I always suggest doing this. It's also going to prevent the necessity to eat as much at the airport. 
Um, we were gonna go out for breakfast. Breakfast does tend to be the simplest meal to eat out because you know you can get like egg whites, veggies, no cheese. Usually you can find a general toast English muffin, oatmeal, pancake recipe, but this morning we've got egg whites and a whole egg, some feta cheese and avocado. And then this is just the Heart Healthy Bisquick um, with a mini RX bar, the chocolate sea salt in it as a topping and then honey. So yeah, nice little carbs. What were the macros on this? Like 40 protein? Um, yeah, 40 protein, 68 carbs. 19 fat, 40 protein, and 68 carbs. So she's cutting, she's dropping, she's eating well. We got like 20,000 steps yesterday, so yeah, super active. But yeah, we're gonna go to the blend one more time and enjoy our morning. You guys, we just got back from yes, so exciting. the blend. It's her last time, so we went hard. <laughs> and now I have an appetite. She was convinced that the coffee would give me an appetite. So yeah. here we are. I'm gonna go make myself some brekkie. All right guys, so Maddie's got her appetite. So I have some bread. This is equivalent to like what? Three pieces of bread um, with some jam, cottage cheese, and then a whole egg, feta cheese, egg whites, salsa, and then reduced sugar ketchup. This is like more sauce than it is egg, but you know, YOLO. <laughs> hey YouTube. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I know that last week I had put a ton of questions up on my Instagram for you all to respond to, um, or like a question box that I was gonna answer questions um, in this week's video on. I have them saved. I do plan to address those in the next video that I film. I just wanna collect a little bit more. I have about 30 or 40 but I want to be like selective with them and I want to organize them. And I thought it was kind of cool for you all to see. I know that you guys may not be traveling right now or maybe you don't have friends that come stay with you that are cutting, whatever it may be. But maybe you are in a relationship where you're cutting and the other person isn't. Or maybe you feel like you are, I've been there isolating and not going out and socializing because you are in a cut or tracking macros or maybe you simply just have different goals than your friends or than your partner. Um, maybe you feel like you're kind of torn in two different directions just in terms of your health and fitness goals, not even if you're a competitor, but um, you know, right now I'm doing a little bit more of a flexible dieting style um, where I'm doing a little bit more intuitive eating. I'm kind of in that season of my life where I just want to, you know, embrace the relationships that I have and being in this new city and really thriving and pouring into my business and all these things. And um, obviously Stephanie was, is a client of mine and, you know, she came here and I have her in a cut right now. And so I just wanted you to see um, kind of how we worked on the fly. This video was kind of all over the place and a little bit chaotic, I think. Um, but hopefully it made your cardio go by a little bit quicker. Um, in an off season, it's kind of tough to come up with content that everybody loves. So um, you guys have been giving me some really affirming and just positive feedback on my content. So thank you so much for that. Um, you know, I love you all with my whole heart and um, I'm super excited to film that Q&A and to release it for you guys so you have something else to watch in a future weekend. Um, head over to Spotify or Apple to check out the new podcast, The Psyche Behind the Physique, this past Saturday. So yesterday, the episode on perfectionism was released. So I can't wait to hear your thoughts on that one. If you guys are new here or you don't know me yet, be sure to head over to my IG page at Mads Michi Fitness and introduce yourself. If you don't, you know that I will reach out to you and want to be your best friend. Um, if any of you guys are interested in working with me, maybe that means that you want to come visit me. You're more than welcome. Um, my link for coaching, the application is down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Be kind to yourselves and have a great weekend.